I started off my hoop by stitching the unicorn and the entire thing is done in a split stitch with two strands of floss except for the small lines on her horn. So go ahead and take your two strands of floss with the knot in the end and find a place to start and come in through the back and pull it through till your thread is secure. And for the split stitch, you want to go ahead and do a small stitch forward along the line that you're stitching. And pull your thread all the way through. And then you're going to come back up through that stitch that you made, splitting it in half, and bring your needle back through. And I got some of my extra thread in the back. But there you go, it should look like that. Um, so then go ahead and make a stitch that's about the same length as the last one that you did and pull your thread through. And then just continue by then splitting that stitch in half by bringing your needle through the center. Pull it through and then make another stitch. And you want to keep your stitches all about the same length. I'm doing small stitches here because I know that there's a lot of tight curves around the different parts of the unicorn. If you have a really small curve, like for example, her hair right here, you can adjust your stitches to be smaller to make the curve more smooth. And I'm not finished here. I'm not going to stitch the entire unicorn, but once you run out of thread, you can go ahead and turn the piece over and then take your needle and just, instead of tying a knot for this one, since there's so much thread on the back, I'm just going to take my needle and thread it back under the backs of these stitches a few times. And then cut off your excess thread and you're done. And then you can either trim this up to make it so that it's not waving around everywhere, or you can take your needle and um, put it on the end of here and thread it back underneath some of these stitches as well.